Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing wonderful. In this video, we are going to see a quick concept of how to uh, um, handle the multiple inputs for a method parameter. So you might be have a class and here you have a method. That method requires to accept single, val single value or multiple values. Sometimes it's a range of inputs, meaning select options. Uh, I need to pass the value of the select option which we receive from the user at the runtime. So that's what we are going to see on this video. Let's get into the slides first. So this is my method parameter and the options for method parameters are it could be a variable it needs only one value or it could be an internal table multiple values it could be a ranges of data example select options or uh, you can have a ranges as well sometimes we need to make up some data before going to the select query so that for that we go with the ranges of data so ranges of select options it has the additional parameter of sign um, the low high sign option so these four parameters are additions for ranges and select options okay so now we are going to get our method parameters ready to accept these values so the declaration would be if it, is a, if, if it is a variable, just a variable declaration or you can hard code the values. If it is an internal table, then in the method parameter, like normally in, in the class you have a method and you, you need to give the reference, right? Uh, if it is a variable type I, type C or any data element name. But if it is an internal table, then you have to make a table type. <laughs> One of the way I'm saying, if you want to make a declare an internal table um, parameter, import parameter, then you have to create a table type and give it that as a reference in your declaration part. And if it is a ranges of data or select options data, then you have to create a table type, then convert the table type into a ranges. Okay, there is an option in SC11 where you can convert the table type as a ranges. Probably you might have seen it. So here what actually we are doing is we are creating a table type. Along with that, we are going to add that four field combinations like sign, um, options low and high okay this four we are going to include it in the table type declaration so once these are done you are good to go okay and um, yeah this is just for your reference so suppose if it's an internal table what i'm creating is i'm just creating a table type and the line type is any of your data element name so here is a plans uh, so i'm going to give works underscore d as a data element that what happens is this internal table this parameter is this is a reference type right so then what happens this parameter is able to accept more than one values from the user or from the program where this particular method is getting called and if it is a ranges in the same ranges table type once you first initially you to create a table type then the conversion should happen from a table type to ranges table type so here what happens if you change the option then automatically the screen is getting changed and you have to give a data element which data element you are creating or ranges along with that you have to create one structured row type is a custom one structured row type you can give any name uh, that should be start with zry so i just create a zry and click create what happens after you click create it automatically created this, this is the name which i have given in the previous screen in that you, this automatically created you don't want to create anything it's automatically added these four uh, fields sign option low high for your parameter for your plans parameter these four are getting added so now the parameter is if you use this reference so this reference name is here this is the reference name if you use this reference in your method parameter then the parameter is able to accept select options or ranges of data okay simple so yeah that's it let me show you in the system so now this is my system so here i just created one class and a method and it has uh, instance and visibility is public so now i'm going to the parameter of methods so maybe if initially I'm going to receive as a variable. So type is importing. You can select and type as works underscore d. I just keep as a pass by only optional. This, this is not required for this scenario. If why I'm keeping optional is while well, using the program, it's very simple for me. Otherwise, I have to give the values. That is the reason. Otherwise, you can ignore these two 
selections now and i'm going to import uh, internal table for plants that is my another uh, parameter i'm going to import ranges of data for plants okay so these are the parameters i'm going to do it okay. so this is already available as a standard one i'm going to create a uh, table type for as a reference for this uh, parameter it's going to accept more than one plants at a time and this is going to accept the plants as a range of data I mean select options value so for that first let's go to sc11 create a table type so i'm going zgi table type plants so i'm going to create a table type so if you want more than one um, maybe you can add uh, as a structure but here I'm going to prefer only one, so I'm going to use the data element. Yes, spelling mistake. So now it's fine, and I'm going to act the word it. Local object. Okay, so now let me. added here okay so table type so now now this parameter is able to accept more than one value and now this is a ranges right so now i'm going to create so here i'm going to create ranges for plants Type ranges data. So now I have an option edit diff or edit define as a ranges table type. Select this option. Now the same data element. Okay, then it, it will show okay. It will show the road type must be structured for ranges table type. So this is not accept only data element because it's just a field. But we need an option for the four fields to be added in my uh, particular data element. So for that, there is an option called structured road type here. Continue. So what I'm going to do is copy, paste it, CGI. Okay, just give some uh, your naming conventions. Just click save the ranges table type okay let me save it local object and click create so here ranges for plants so this is automatically created you don't want to give anything just give a description that that could be nf and act toward it so i'm activating the structure here okay no Go back now activate your ranges table type and give this to your class okay i didn't select these options that's fine save it and act over it done so let me Go to a program okay meantime let me execute this in ac24 itself okay i have a method execute so i have two sorry three different uh, parameters one accept just a value sorry just single value the next one accept multiple values thousand and add a line two thousand okay and next one accept multiple values along with a different format so include option equal so i'm going to give thousand to five thousand and if you want to add add a new line so yes it's added down uh, exclude equals uh, except thousand five hundred so like that okay so now your method parameter is able to accept a single value or multiple values or ranges of values okay so let just quickly check from the program perspective come on okay 
CGI multiple inputs. Please ignore my spelling mistakes. Multiple inputs. Save it. So data object. So new and the name of the class. So now go to pattern, web objects, obj, class name, and the method name. I have only one method. Yes. Okay. So now I can have a constant value, 4000, or let me quickly declare the select option, class type, works underscore d. Select option S underscore plans for LB plans. Let me have a data range also. Okay. Range plans type range of works underscore D. Okay. And one more is data IT plans type table of works. So I'm getting the internal, I'm getting ready the internal table also. Now you can fill, you can know how to fill these informations. I don't want to waste your time over here. So here I'm going to use IT plans and here I'm going to use S plans, select options. Okay, let's see. Okay, S plans is not com compatible with formal parameter. That's actually correct because S plans we declared as a select option so it has a header as well as the body of an internal table right so you have to mention the body parameter here now it's good so you can have s plans or you can have or plans so both it can be acceptable okay so this is a way you have to oh, handle more than one value for any method parameter it could be a a hard coder if it is a single value or if it is an internal table make sure this is declared with the table type and if it are ranges or select option make sure this gets declared in the method parameter as a reference one is uh, table type with ranges table type okay so then it's pretty easy you can how you can able to add it so very quickly i can show you the formats in the debugging level and we'll close this execute nothing execute so double click double click so this is my internal table the first one is the internal table so which is uh, designed to have more than one value and this is my ranges so it has value sign option low high and if you see select option also the same format so it has sign option low high okay so I hope this might be useful to understand how to pass more than one value for a method parameter. Okay, just play around. If you have any doubts, please let me know. And thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.